Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game video for you today. If you've been following us, we've been working on this um, uh, Bally Kickoff Electromechanical Pinball Machine from 1975. And I'm going to show you today how the pop bumpers work because we have to repair all of them because they're junk. <laughs> Not because they're bally, it's just these particular ones are all worn out, so we're going to make them nice again. So as you can see, the first problem is that the skirt under here is all ate up on all three of them. looks horrible. And also the bodies are all kind of yellowed. Um, all that stuff's real cheap, so we're going to replace them. Now, the only problem with replacing them is, see that? That little socket there holds the light bulb in it. And so to make the light bulb light, you have wires that have to connect to it. So if you look underneath, let's see, this front one will be a good one to show because I have to replace it. Um, and it, I've got the wire cut so it won't kill me. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, the wires come down. I'm trying to find where they are so you can see how that works. Um, see that right there I guess I should point at it with something huh hopefully I won't get killed especially since the things turned on that see the little metal going in and going into the pin into the wood play field that is one side of the light and then the other side is peeking out the other side see how it's coming out of the hole and it's it attaches to that uh, braided wire there those two metal pieces run up through the body and that's how they make that light bulb socket work there. Of course the bulb is out of it right now. So the whole thing with changing these pop bumpers is they're not that big of a deal except for that freaking wire to make the light work. So you have to take those out to, uh, to get anywhere. So what I'll do is I'll take that apart and then show you how that all works. Now we also have, see this coil here, how it's all brown and black on the wrapper? That's because it burnt up. So I snipped the wire loose. If you, if you get a coil that locks on like that and you don't have a coil with you and you still want to mess with the machine or play it or whatever, if you cut one of the wires to it, um, the coil will no longer energize and you don't have to worry about it locking on and blowing fuses and all that stuff. So we cut one wire um, to take the shorted coil out. We ordered a new coil. Uh, we're going to put all that stuff in, so I'm going to show you how it looks after we do it. And I'm going to take these parts out and show you kind of um, what we're replacing. So I will be back in a minute. All right, so I have a move, removed the offending part, and you can get a little better idea of what I was talking about here. You see how those lines go down through the body, down into the underneath the playfield. So basically, the way this thing works is it all goes together a certain way. It's on top of the playfield. There's a spring under here, of course. Uh, whenever the ball rolls over this, this little plastic thing hits the little uh, switch underneath, uh, which connects and makes the coil pull in, which is connected to these, and pulls the metal bar down. Very violently, which kicks the pinball away. And then the spring on the coil, whenever the coil lets go, the, co the spring pushes this back up and the spring underneath the skirt uh, puts it back up whenever the ball gets off of it. So all this looks horrible and is in bad shape. So there's only a couple parts to it. You can buy brand new skirts like that. A little bit of a difference, what do you think? Now you can get these in all different colors. You can get red, green, blue, whatever you want. So you can, you can uh, color match it to the art on the play field if you want. On this particular game, we thought white would look good again, so we just went with white. Oh, and also, all these parts are really cheap, like a dollar or less. Um, I think I bought ten of these from Marco Specialties, and they were a dollar each. Um, so that's the body, this big part. What I forgot to get, though, is this little part under here, the bottom of the body, um, which is old. I wish I would have got some so I could replace it, but they're not cracked. Nothing's wrong with them. They're just old, so I'm just going to reuse it. And of course the spring you can reuse. Uh, the metal piece here, you can replace that if you want, but you don't even hardly see it, so I usually don't replace it unless it's broke. Um, and I forgot to get these. You can get new sockets, like this whole piece you can get new. So I'm going to have to clean that one up and adjust it and everything to make sure it still works good. 
Um, but basically that's our part. So I'm going to put it back together. And oh, let me show you under the play field so you can see how that looks now that it's been removed. Oh. So you can see what that little piece on the skirt sticks down through there. And whenever it hits it, it connects the two switches, which makes this pull in. This one's actually burn up, remember. Uh, makes this pull in, which pulls the metal. Now whenever it gets down, there's another switch there that connects. You see that? See how when that comes off, that switch connects on the bottom there? What that does is it gives you your 100 points. So it knows that you got 100 points because that switch connects. So I will, uh, I'll start putting that back together and I'll show you what it looks like. Be back in a second. Okay, so look at that beautiful new coil. Look at that. Wow, that looks awesome. See the original ones? And you can see the burnt up one. So there are two screws underneath on these. You take those two screws loose. And then there is a little bracket. I don't know if I can get the camera in there. Whoa. Get your head out of the way, people. There's a little bracket there that comes loose. Remember, we had these unbolted already. Um, and then this little plunger can move inside the coil. Now, if your coils burn up, it might not move all the way through. See how it's all messed up inside? But it moved just enough for me to finagle it all out of there. And then the little bracket, I could slide in the new one and then slide it on. And then on these particular ones, on on uh, on most of them, you don't have this diode on the, most of the uh, EMs. Uh, but on the um, on the later model ones from the 70s, this is 1975. There's, sometimes there is a diode on some of the stuff because they're using DC to power the uh, the flippers and things like that. You can see there's a bridge rectifier right there to turn the AC power into DC. So you do use uh, a diode on this. You know, I may be wrong about all that too. I don't know if that's because it's DC or what. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure why they have the diode, but it has the diode, so we put a new one on it. And uh, so usually, though, whenever you do yours, you might not run into that. Uh, and you can see see how I've got my little wires sticking through the plate field. That's for the light. i got to solder that back in there. And then the tricky one is always this one that comes up through the... Uh, See how it comes up, and then you have to kind of move it under that bracket. So we bend it a little bit, so now we can lay it down on the wire and solder it back together. The way I usually do that is I heat this up with a soldering iron, and then I use a little screwdriver to hold that in place while the solder dries. Um, so we're going to do that, and then we'll show you what the top looks like. Be back in a second. Okay, so here's what we're left with. We got those two wires soldered back. We've got a nice uh, brand new pop bumper cap on it. Check that out, looks really good. Like I was saying, you could do the skirt in different colors if you want, you know, red might look good or whatever, but you can see the night and day difference between that one and the one above it. Here's the original pop bumper cap too. Uh, see how the yellow had faded away on most of it, and it's all uh, yellowed up and even caught, uh, didn't catch fire, but uh, burnt up a little bit just from all of its, uh, um, years with a bulb under it. Check that out. Night and day difference. So that's something you can do to really make a machine look a lot better. Um, sometimes the caps get worse than others so it just depends on the machine if they're if they're still in pretty decent shape uh, then we uh, we leave them but these were just so bad we had to kind of go through the trouble of replacing them so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you uh, oh you know what we should try it right let's see if that sucker works alright and we'll do it the good old-fashioned way one-handed oh it worked just it We'll try it again. The other two still work, they just look horrible, so I have to replace the bodies and the skirts on them too. All right, so, well, I missed. You get the idea, it works great now. So, uh, if you like the video, if you have any questions about pop bumpers, let us know below. But if you like the video, subscribe to us. We do all kinds of little uh, pinball and arcade game videos like this. Uh, leave your comments below, and we'll see you on the next video.